Every time you make a call with your phone, you're using your contacts. Have you ever wondered what would happen to your contacts if you lost your phone? This video is about Android, and I'm going to show you how to make sure that your contacts are syncing to the cloud and how to make even an extra backup, even by printing them out. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour. Here is my Android phone. It's a Samsung. And if you open the phone app and tap on contacts, you will see all of my contacts. I don't want to use this, however, because you are seeing all of my contacts, hundreds of them, and there doesn't seem to be a way in this app to limit it to just certain accounts. I have lots of different accounts. So I'm going to go into contacts a different way using the contacts app. Now, why do I have two? This orange one is the Samsung contacts app that came with the phone. The blue one is the Google contacts app. They do the same thing, so I like using the Google one. And now I am limited to just a few, one account. How did I do that? In the customized view and customize view, I can choose my real account, and that's where hundreds of contacts are. Notice I have that turned off. The one I have turned on is this test account, our imaginary friend named Alan and his email address. And I have all the rest of them turned off as well. So we're just looking at Alan's account contacts. Let's add a contact. I just tap the plus. Now here I need to make sure it's being added to Alan's account and not mine. You tap under save to and choose this test account. So this contact will be saved to that account. Very important. Anne-Marie Adams. And we should give her a phone number and save. Now if I back out, I will see Anne-Marie Adams there. And now I just want you to notice these two in the D's, Donna delete me and Donnie delete me. Now I want to take you to the computer and show you how you can find these same contacts on the computer. Since it's a Google account that is containing these contacts, you just go to contacts.google.com and sign in with the proper account. Now this will just be your account and you'll need to know your password. And here we are at those same contacts. I want you to notice that Anne Marie Adams is here. Now, I find it so much easier to work on the computer. So if I want to start cleaning up my contacts, I'll do it in the computer rather than on the phone. So let's delete this Donna and Donnie, the delete me. I just select them. Then I click on the three dot menu at the top and delete, and it will delete the two selected contacts. You can work with all your contacts on the computer just as you can on the phone. So let's go back to the phone. And remember on the phone, we're using the contacts app. So I swipe up to see all my apps. I make sure that I'm in the C's and I'm using the blue one, the Google contacts app. Anne-Marie is certainly still there, and notice there are no Ds. So that is synchronizing. Now, if it did not work for you, you, you need to try this to make sure on your phone that your contacts are syncing and you can access them on the computer. If they're not, then here's the settings that you need to look at. If I go into my settings, I do it by swiping down and then tapping on the little gear. Accounts and Backup and manage accounts. I find the got guest account and tap it and then sync. Tap on sync and contacts needs to be turned on. That's what is making it sync to the cloud. And that's great. So you know now that if you lose your phone, you won't lose your contacts. But what if you lose access to this account or you just want to print out? Let me show you how to back up to another file and make a printout. For that, we need to be at the computer. And remember, it's a Google account and it is contacts.google.com. And I'm still logged in with that account. So I am seeing these emails. Now, if you want to print these, you just click the little printer over here 
and it says, okay, I will print all 15 contacts, or you can choose just different groups of contacts. Click print, and it can go to an actual printer, or you can save it as a PDF. So this is a great way to have to know that you have your contacts somewhere. But the other thing is to have a backup file that can be imported to a new phone or another system. And that's this icon right here, export. And you can export to a CSV, which is a spreadsheet type of file, or to Outlook or to iOS for an Apple, an iPhone. And now that you have all your contacts safely backed up, you might want to go through and start deleting and editing and cleaning them up.